Welcome back folks. So today we're going to build a kit and I found this kit uh, in amongst some other stuff, not in my box of kits. I don't know why it got put there. But I think it's because I was interested in it at the time and I might have just put it aside and then it got swept up into another container. But this, this kit here is a oscillator tester module. It's, I think it's supposed to be um, a crystal tester and also a frequency counter if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, frequency counter installation instructions. I Okay, got the welding torch here. Yeah, okay, so we've got a schematic, we got a pictorial, we got a list of parts, and we got a little uh, QR code here to scan. I, I don't think it's in good enough condition to actually scan to find out more, but I will try that at some point if I can't get this thing to work. All right, so uh, here are all the parts. The case I'm probably going to leave till some of the time, because I, I was thinking, now that I recall, that I was thinking about putting this into one of my little, one of my little cases. One of these little jobbies. Yeah, but we'll see, we'll see. I'll build it, I'll build it in an uncommitted fashion so we can make the decision at some point whether we want to use this acrylic case or not. So we'll put that aside for now. Comes with a, a USB power cable, that's nice. So it must be a five volt supply. Screws for the case. I've got my solder here, breadboard here, and all the parts. So I'm gonna get started on this. It looks like this is going to be a little bit uh, Longer build than what I've done before. As usual, I'll uh, get started on building this thing. I'll show you a little speed it up montage of it. If there's anything really interesting along the way, I will stop and make a comment. But other than that, I'm just going to get started. So right off the bat, uh, while they gave me the, the right number of resistors, <laughs> uh, they didn't give me the right resistors. So uh, I was supposed to get 10 of the 1K resistors and one of the 100K resistors, but they gave me 10 of the 100K resistors. So I've had to go into my own stash and get these 1K resistors out, and these will go into my stash of 100K resistors. But uh, we'll carry on. All right, there it is. Now there were some parts left over, can't find any place for them. There was still one further 100K resistor, 22 picofarad capacitor, and a little long handled uh, jumper block. All right, well, let's get this unraveled here. I don't know if I have, uh, I could turn on my oscilloscope, here's a power source, make a little noise, but that reach, that'll reach. Now I don't know how to operate this. 
guess I could scan that code to see if it's scannable. But, uh, heck, I'm just going to go for it here. I'm going to plug the thing in. Just to see what happens. And nothing happens. That's spectacular. Well, there we have it, folks. Let's see, changing the location of this does anything? No. Okay, when all else fails, bring in a bigger magnifying glass. So I did find a little whisker across here, which I just cleared. And we'll see if that helps. Okay, well that's much more promising. Nice. Okay, so that is a 16 megahertz crystal. And it's coming up here is 15.999. Now what does this do? Oh, so this is for no PSJ. Add to a arrow table quit. Okay, so I found this document here that seems to uh, deal with a very, very similar device. They use the same microcontroller, they've got the same parts count, and, and it behaves exactly the same way. So it goes through here, here's the, the parts count. It goes through the soldering guide. This is interesting information. You can put in five to nine volts. I guess that regulator is a low dropout. And here's a, some more instructions um, about the ability to program it. So if you, you press that switch and uh, press it for more than a second, you'll jump into this mode here. Now, I, I understand what they're saying here. Uh, there's nothing that too confusing about it other than the fact that why would you want any of it? In fact, if you guys know, leave a, a note in the comments. Why would you want to subtract one frequency from another? Anyway, so I'll leave a link to this document too, uh, so you can have a look at that, as well as a link to one of the many hundreds of Alibaba suppliers of this, or even Abra. I'll leave a link to their site as well. Okay, Jeez, that's the frequency. If I take this off here and I put it on here, I don't get anything. So I'm, I'm guessing that if I put in some a frequency in here, it'll be the frequency counter. Okay, I've got my little uh, JDS 6600 function generator hooked up to it. I've got a sine wave of uh, one kilohertz or 10 kilohertz coming out. Let's see what this does now. I plug it in here in this mode. 10, 10 kilohertz, 999. Okay, well, let's, let's bump it up a little bit. See what it'll go up to. 100, 200. Let's say 1.2 megahertz. Having a little trouble with that. We've got the output is at 5 volts AC. Let's go back to 1.1 megahertz. 1 megahertz. Let's put in an offset here. Plus 2.5 volts. Yeah, it's better. We also try a square wave here. Okay, now yeah, frequency, let's go up. 1.2 again, yeah. Should we try 10? It's 5.2, 10, 20. It's not okay with 30. So where do we lose it? We got okay with 20. Yeah, we lose it there. So we lose it at the frequency that's going into the microprocessor there. It gets steadily less accurate as you get close to that. That's 17, 18 megahertz, 19 megahertz, 20 megahertz, begin to jump around a little bit. 20 megahertz, 100,000, 200,000. Yeah, it doesn't like it once you go beyond 20 megahertz. So let's go way, way, way down. Try it. one kilohertz. Okay, let's try it down to 100 hertz. That's good. 10 hertz. That's good. Okay, well, it seems to do exactly what it's supposed to do. I think it'd be nicer though, packaged into a nice little box rather than this way. 
it's got mounting holes so it could be mounted up to the top of the lid a little cutout for the display a little switch to switch between crystal tester and frequency counter it seems to prefer signals that are uh, a, that don't go negative AC signals with an offset to bring the lowest voltage down to zero so we're now we're at 2.9 volts I'm going to put at three here and then we'll set the offset at 1.5 volts so we're good there offset half a volt no oh, we lose it so it does definitely like uh, uh, this is zero volts it does definitely like the signal to be all above the zero volts line very good very good I think uh, yeah I think I'm, I'm not gonna bother with this case for the thing I think I am just gonna leave it for a future video where I'm going to mount the thing properly into a little case and put a little BNC connector on it for the frequency counter and bring this out to the top of the case bring this this switch out and this jumper at a toggle switch and I've got a uh, panel mount versions of these all right well that's it thanks for joining me today guys I think it's going to be a handy little tool for the beginners uh, electronics toolkit a frequency cancer and a crystal tester all in one have a great day guys